stop scaring ourselves. Stop scaring ourselves. Build, let's build ourselves up instead. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com. So uh, I've noticed recently while doing the, uh, the My Friend Adam campaign uh, for Shield Mutual, especially, that um, we are responsible for scaring ourselves. Yeah? Stop scaring ourselves. All right, Let, let's cut that out. Now, we often uh, see the extremes of uh, government uh, aggression and uh, we think about you know what that could lead to next or what's already happening uh, even you know like in the case of Guantanamo Bay or NSA surveillance we tend to take that to, to an extreme and to hype that extreme uh, with emotion even talking you know even making videos giving ultimatums like uh, government cut it out or, or else and so we end up scaring ourselves. We scare ourselves about the NDAA, about a black bagging, indefinite detention, Agenda 21, fluoride, um, GMOs, everything. Now there are legitimate concerns behind all of this, I think, as far as I can tell. Ah, oh, let's not forget uh, chem, what are the chemtrails? Uh, and harp, of course. Well, now we're, we're venturing into conspiracy theory territory. Now, I think there are, there are legitimate and valid concerns behind all of this. However, we get emotional at times. And, uh, you know, we tend to talk, it could happen to us next. I, kind of, I, I think that it comes from a place of wanting to emphasize to people who don't get it just how serious the things that are going on are. And they are very serious. NSA surveillance is, is, is a fact. And it is more widespread than, than most people even imagine now, I'm sure. Uh, the NDA, NDAA is a fact. Uh, that it's not being used in the, inside the borders of uh, the United States is probably um, partially a, uh, a result of how organized the resistance is in the United States, at least the, the vocal resistance. And there are other things going on, you know, there's an attack on food freedom. There's a gentleman, Mark Baker, um, in uh, Michigan who farms uh, pigs. And he is, his business is about to be wiped out if something doesn't change immediately. You can find out more about him at bakersgreenacres.com. <clears throat> but my point is that we take these threats and we hype them to the max. Uh, and I think Alex Jones is a good example of this, you know. Uh, he has made millions out of hyping the latest threats and they're always just around the corner whether that is a, you know, a complete fascist takeover or um, what the, the collapse, the total collapse of the dollar and it's just fear, fear, fear and uh, we have to recognize that we have to chill that out we don't need to take it to an extreme in order to be effective advocates for liberty. We don't have to hype the threats on liberty. They're serious. They're a reality. Um, because I think, and in the end, what really concerns me is that by hyping these things and by, by going fear, fear, fear all the time, by sharing all the latest examples of police brutality, uh, by making all of these threats into big, huge, giant, scary things, we are ultimately disempowering ourselves. We are scaring ourselves such that uh, there are those among us who are afraid, afraid to even do something as simple as speak out in support of a fellow activist, uh, who are afraid to uh, sign up for Shield Mutual membership because uh, the state may, um, you know, may may get their information and target them for harassment. Um, and like I said, I think there is, there are some legitimate concerns behind these things. But when we take it to an extreme, when we're so scared uh, that we have to uh, go and produce, you know, spend enormous amounts of time producing our own food, uh, that we we won't buy things online, we won't use email. 
uh, we, we get out of Facebook and disconnect ourselves from our friends that we won't record a video um, that we won't use the telephone uh, and that we just want to kind of fade into the background and be really quiet because we might be the next victim the, this is counterproductive um, as leaders we have to incentivize people we have to help people find the courage and the reason to speak out because the first step is speaking out people don't immediately jump from understanding the situation to going out and being a full-fledged uh, agorist, agorist or activist or having uh, an online media presence or a blog or you know getting arrested and things like that uh, it's a, it's a progress, progression and if we want to have more activists in the future, more people resisting, more people uh, building agorist businesses and all of that, then we need to build up people's courage. Um, and we're gonna have to stop hyping these threats. Um, you know, they're, they're real, there are real threats out there. Um, they are legitimate, they are of concern, but my point is stop hyping it. Stop, you know, for example, when an activist is arrested and you say, oh my god, they're going to NDAA him, they, 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 they black bagged him. Uh, you know, that didn't happen. That, that hasn't happened, okay? So, like, chill out, okay? The fact is that they don't need the NDAA or black bags to put somebody in a, in a, in a small, frigid cage and keep them incommunicado for long periods of time. That was standard operating policy even before the, the NDAA or September 11th. Um, so, yeah, let, let's, have, let's have a little more reason, a little more calm and a little bit less freaking out. Yeah, stop scaring ourselves. Stop scaring ourselves. Build, let's build ourselves up instead. Thanks for listening. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.